Okay, so we just got back from vacation. We spent a week in Florida. Took the two older grandkids to Disney World. Had lots of fun. But apparently while we were gone, we must have had a storm because one of our big trees in the back fell down. I got lots of tree limbs to pick up. Look at all the tree limbs. There's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but there's lots of tree limbs from that storm that we must have had while we were gone. Now our sun was here, house sitting for us, but like a normal 21 year old, he doesn't look in the backyard like I do. <laughs> but yep. Yeah lots of shade here and uh, there's the roots I blame this on the uh, groundhog that we have back here because he for the last two years has had a house underneath this tree you can actually see now that the uh, I'm like waiting for him to come running out and get me you, you can see the hole well, let me get out of the shot. See that? That's where the groundhog was living. He dug him out an in hole and an out hole on the other side. And uh, he had a house back here. And I guess the storm just pushed it the rest of the way over. But, yep. It is on the ground. It took out a good portion of that tree, too. But I was always afraid to come back here and mow because the tree was leaning and I was always afraid it would fall right when I'm mowing the grass. But there you go. Tree fell. I guess I'll wait till this fall when everything dies down and start cleaning everything up and my husband will have to cut this down and I guess we'll have lots of uh, firewood for our little fire pit this fall. But another tree bites the dust. Hope there were no little birdies in there when it happened. But I bring, I, see, see, the cats always enter this hole very carefully because they know there's usually a groundhog in there. But he was just a little, we'd see him running around the yard and he didn't bother anything. So I just let him stay there. I didn't put out any traps or try to shoo him off and the cats. One day he walked through the yard and all three cats were in the backyard and he just walked right through <laughs> in the middle of all three of them. She's checking out the hole to see if he's in there. Is he in there? I don't see him. God, that's a big hole. I'll have to, when I clean up some of these roots, I'll have to show you how deep, because you cannot see how deep this hole is. It is it is really deep. He had himself a good house back there. But I guess I should have made him leave my tree area alone. There's other places he could have dug a house, but this tree's gone. And my peach tree, it's a good thing I got a few peaches off of it when I did because my husband saw the video and he came out to get some peaches and they're all gone. All of them are gone and they're not on the ground. Something came through. I don't know if it climbed the tree or if it was a deer or a human <laughs> that came through and get it, got them, but yep, they are all gone. 
neighbors are cleaning up their backyard. They cleaned up a good section of our yard too. Thank you. <laughs> you loving that dirt. You loving the dirt. Huh? The birds are all upset about something. I wonder what they're going to do back here. <laughs>